Hey everybody, it's Val from Autistic Interpretations. It's time for another Q&A. In today's q and I'm gonna talk about the things we miss about our other house. Yesterday, I reposted a video that we had filmed previously in our other home, and it was about um, would Jess eat her peas. And it, it is a video we made a while back, and um, we're in our kitchen cooking and, and prepping for a meal. And um, what I said in my caption was, we are missing our kitchen set up at the old house, so we thought we'd reshare this video. So I've had some questions about what do I miss about the kitchen, so I thought I would just do a video about what we miss about the house, because there are a couple specifics going on. First, one of the things that we are missing, and it's kind of um, maybe unexpected, in the other house, we lived in about 1,200 square feet, I think, in the upstairs of our house. And the way the house is laid out, Jessica's room and where we were in the living room most of the day is really not that far from each other. And we could hear what's going on in her room all the time. So if she was happy, we could hear happy chatter. If she was playing dirty garbage rap, which always means she's happy, we could hear that. If she got quiet, we knew something was up and we'd go check on her. If she had this low grumbling sound that she makes when she's, uh, we can't really hear what she's saying, but it's a tone. It's this low, deep tone. And that usually means we need to intervene and redirect. The other thing about that space difference is that Jessica could open her door and say, what is this? And you know, walk a few steps down the hall and we could say, oh, that's a whatever, uh, and if it's a coloring page. So in this house, the space is bigger, the doors are thicker, the floors are carpeted. So all those things mean that um, the sound is more contained within each room. So now when she's in her room with the door closed, we don't hear the happy chatter, or I don't. I don't hear it from my room. I don't hear happy chatter. I don't hear negative. I, I, I don't even always hear her rap playing. While that's nice in some ways that it's the house is quieter, I also used all those other things as tools at the other house to uh, kind of stay on top of her mood and uh, just kind of manage and, and implement interventions when I needed to. So that is one thing I miss about the other house is um, that space and being able to be in my space, but also know what's going on with her. Um, another thing we're really missing about our other house, and we knew we would miss it. I mean, it's not a surprise at all. We really miss our backyard, um, our deck, and um, going out and sitting on our deck and watching the poodles play. Um, there's space for them to play here, but it's wooded and we can't see them beyond this one little grassy area where they've basically, there's no grass left now. So they don't play quite the same in the other yard. They would run over here, run over there. And, um, you know, we could stand on the deck and the, the, the bug situation at the other house was gnats. So there were a lot of gnats at the other house, but you know, you could wave off gnats kind of, but here... It, mosquitoes are so bad at, that we don't even want to go outside. So if we leave the, if we leave the screen door open for a minute uh, to let the dogs in and out, mosquitoes come in the porch and they can of course fly up under the deck also. Um, so even just sitting on the screened in porch, we get mosquito bites and Jessica and I specifically are that, I don't know if it's skin type, blood type, whatever type that mosquitoes love. Um, and then that becomes a big issue because um, when Jessica gets mosquito bites, it ends up being a massive sore that we have to take a long time to try to get healed up. And when that's happening, we don't want her in the pool because we don't want to increase her risk of infection. And yeah, we could cover it up with like a waterproof bandage, but that doesn't mean the bandage is going to stay on in the water because she's just likely to pull it off while she's in the pool. So we've had very few pool days this summer. So that's another thing we're missing about the house. Um, I think the last biggie is the kitchen. And I am surprised at how much I miss my other kitchen. I thought this kitchen, it looks bigger because it's more open. But 
there's really less counter space. When, and when I say that, I always, well, there's the whole bar, but just like in terms of having my stuff out, I spent years cultivating my kitchen to be like I wanted it to be. One of the things, probably the biggest thing I miss is my flat cook surface. Um, I had a, I don't know exactly what it's called, but anyway, it's a flat cooktop for my stove. And I missed that immensely. It was just really nice. And then I missed my double oven. And I had spent, because the other kitchen was small, I had spent a lot of time designing it um, to be practical in terms of space. So that's why I had my pots and pans hanging up. Um, where they were. I had a rack to hang utensils. I had some little corner shelves to get things up off the counter. Anyway, um, so with none of that, none of those things relate to criticism about this current kitchen. It's just I had worked so hard to make that kitchen exactly what I wanted. Things like that take time. And another thing I missed about the other kitchen, I had under the cabinet lighting that I turned on every day. My my older eyes need that extra lighting and I kind of miss that too. And this is a strange thing to miss. I miss our refrigerator. The refrigerator here is um side by side and it like if you look at the refrigerator it looks bigger, but the way the space is on the inside, we can't fit as much stuff in there and there's so much in that little skinny space that it's hard to it's hard to find it and get to it and we have to dig through everything so anyway that's another thing I miss about our kitchen is is our refrigerator and then in terms of the cabinets I thought we would have more cabinet space here but in reality we don't um it's laid out differently and maybe maybe something about the kitchen this is really not that big of a deal but again it's about proximity to jessica's room this kitchen is way far away from jessica's room um so i definitely can't hear anything going on in the other end of the house when i'm in the kitchen in this house again not not a great big deal but those are the things none of its complaints it's just somebody asked the question what do i miss these are the things that i miss uh, we knew we would miss some things about the other house we didn't dislike our other house we just needed more space um and so we, we are missing our other house a great deal various things about it i also miss my living room at the other house as you can see i kind of decorated my bedroom to look like the living room sort of um because we spent almost all of our time in the living room at the other house. We said that's where we did our work. Um, that's where we had our leisure. It was right next to the kitchen. We ate there sometimes. Um, it was kind of where we lived. Um, so I definitely miss that um, area as well. It was very cozy and comfy. And again, something that I cultivated for myself over time and, and made it my own. So anyway, we'll get there eventually. This is... Uh, this is a temporary layover in this house. And while we uh, sell the other one and find just the right one for us, so it's okay. We're, we're happy. We appreciate Bad Daddy inviting us to stay here. It made selling our house so much easier. It would have been really hard to stay in the house while we tried to sell it. So we really appreciate him encouraging us to come stay here with, us, with, with him while we did that. If you have any questions, please let me know, comment below, and I will try to answer as many as possible. Thanks for watching.